Well, it's a pleasure, pleasure to welcome you once more uh, to Greece. Uh, I would like to uh, thank you and the bank for the continuous uh, support you have offered the country and the Greek economy on its path uh, towards a sustainable recovery. Of course, as we've had a chance to discuss, we are now facing momentous uh, challenges with the Russian uh, invasion uh, in Ukraine and significant economic ramifications. Uh, our main concern, and as we uh, enter a period of, of, of intense discussions at the European level, will be how to support households and businesses uh, in dealing with uh, increases in the prices of energy, in particular electricity. Our views on this topic are very, very specific. We need to break the linkage between the price of gas and the price of electricity, and we need European support to do that. Um, if that does not happen, we will have to rely on national funding, which of course will put strain on our budgets. But if we don't manage to reach an agreement, I think it will be a European failure. Because right now, as you can see, in European elections, some of the forces of populism are feeding uh, upon the discontent uh, of, uh, of citizens uh, with the cost of living. And, and these are real concerns. They are legitimate concerns. So this, in my mind, is a time for Europe to step up to the plate, as we did with the Recovery and Resilience Fund, uh, and deliver some solution. And there are options. We can discuss them uh, in, in, in more detail. There are options on the table. The first thing is that we need a political commitment that we will address the problem at the European level, and we will not uh, just let member states individually deal with uh, the ramifications. So again, um, thank you. Thank you for being here, and thank you for uh, all the support. Well, thank you very much for the very warm welcome extended to us, and it's a pleasure to be back in Greece, not only because uh, it's about 20 degrees warmer here than in Luxembourg uh, and, and brighter, but also because we have a couple of good stories to tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, this uh, year 2021, under terrible, terribly difficult circumstances, was one of the best years for the bank in Greece ever, mm -hmm. and probably a good experience of Greece with, with this bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go for continuity, so there is no doubt about that. And, there is one issue, of course, that a short-term issue doesn't need a long-term financier, yeah. uh, which we are. So we need to find solutions, creative solutions, intelligent solutions, in order to be helpful.